crazy mother guys it's one in the morning but i don't want to miss out on your guys's shout outs so shout out to you for blowing up my instagram follow shout out to you for blowing up my instagram follow guys look at that look i think there was one other person but these but these dudes right here did it so much that the other person is just down here and i can't see it it's just gone in the in the black hole of instagram but shout out to you two dudes shout out anyway guys like i just said it's one in the morning i just got done editing my video and the thumbnail so i'm going to bed i'll see you guys tomorrow when i wake up okay guys what's going on it's the next day and i have actually another shout out the last clip you guys saw was last night at one in the morning of me showing you guys another shout out but i have another one focus 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 look at that shout out to you follow shout out google maps is using my location but anyway guys oh i'm out of focus but anyway guys i'm about to go skate and it's already it's super late in the day again I'm, this is this is gonna be like my new schedule since I stay up late to edit anyway I used to didn't like staying up really late to edit um, Because I would wake up really late really late in the day But now I don't even care because it's too hot in the day to do anything so I might as well just sleep in So later in the day, I'm gonna I'm go skate like towards the nighttime I'm gonna go skate come back home edit all night And yeah, I think that's just gonna have to be my new schedule because it's way too hot to do anything during the day and guys, how many of you, I'm pretty sure all of you guys heard about this, but John Hill is freaking pro. John, if you're watching this, I love you and you deserve to be pro. You deserved to be pro like years ago. But yeah, John, you totally deserve it. You work so hard. You're an amazing skateboarder. So if you're watching this, you, you deserve to be pro 110%. So shout out to John Hill. If any of you don't know who John Hill is, but I'm pretty sure all of you guys know who John Hill is. But for that 1% of you that don't know who John Hill is, uh, he's a YouTuber and he just turned pro at skateboarding. Just search on YouTube John Hill and you'll find him. He's, he's John Hill. He's the only John Hill on YouTube, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, guys, I'm about to go skate. Hopefully, I'm able to find some spots because yesterday was actually a really good day. Like, I usually have so much trouble finding skate spots. Um, but yesterday, actually, I found two skate spots and, um, and, that, and that turned out great. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking. I'm gonna go skate. I have a video to film today. Um, so yeah, skateboarding. Okay guys, I found this really nice, really big, very nice park. And hopefully there's some skate spots here. And guys, look, I have to carry around this board and this board and my camera and my backpack, my phone. Um, because, can you guys hear? Oh, it's fucking windy. Because I'm gonna be comparing regular skateboards and cruiser skateboards because I know a lot of people out there um, like people I know even like to skate cruiser boards like regular boards. So in this video, I'm gonna kind of compare the two um, But I want to find like a ledge or something so I can try 50 50s. Okay, you know what? I could just do 50 50s and stuff on these right here I came here uh, just to look for like a ledge or something and I think it's actually some ledges over there But for right now uh, for this little demonstration part, I'm just gonna be doing 50 50s and whatnot on this um, So yeah, where's my tripod? I lost my tripod. Okay, those benches that I was gonna try in 50 50 and like do some grinds on not grindable, so um, yeah, I don't know where I'm gonna do some 50-50s and stuff. Uh, I might just do some like flat ground cruiser board tricks because that's a lot easier anyway. But look at what I'm sitting in front of. Look how nice it is here. Look at that. A freaking pond, lake, what do you call this? A lake, and then there's a like little island in the middle of this lake. It's super nice here, what the hell? How have I never been to this park before? Okay guys, look, I found this little ledge right here that's already been skated and waxed and it actually grinds. So I'm gonna be doing like some 50-50s on this because, guys, there's actually a lot of like ledges here, look, but they're not skatable. Look, like look how perfect this is, but there's no, there's no way to get speed from here to skate this. And that one's knobbed and like almost all of them are knobbed. So um, yeah, I'm gonna skate this little tiny thing. Okay, back to uh, back to this video. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna be comparing normal skateboard versus cruiser skateboard. 
because I used to I used to skate this cruiser board a lot. I don't skate it anymore. I just, I just skate on my regular board. Well, I used to skate it a lot. I used to do a lot of ollies and stuff and whatnot. But um, a lot of my friends would actually only use cruiser boards. Like they would take a cruiser board to the skate park, do a bunch of tricks at the skate park on a cruiser board, and they would just like they would like not have a regular skateboard, but they would always have a cruiser board and just do tricks on a cruiser board. So I thought I'd make a video and compare the two. Cruiser boards are obviously harder, but in this video, I'm gonna try to explain which one's least hard, which is, I'm pretty sure, a skateboard. But it is all just personal preference. I personally like skating a regular skateboard, but if you like skating a cruiser board instead of a regular board, like if you, like if you rather have a cruiser board to do tricks and all that types of stuff, and you're more comfortable on a cruiser board, then go right ahead. I'm In this video, I'm just gonna be comparing the two so first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some flat ground tricks on my normal board, and then I'm gonna do some flat ground tricks on the cruiser board. See which one's harder. I'm gonna explain the differences and everything in case you don't skate and you're thinking about getting a regular skateboard or a cruiser board. Uh, hopefully this video helps you if you're in that situation. All right, so regular board, flat ground tricks first, and then cruiser board, flat ground tricks, and then I'm gonna do some grinds, and I'm gonna let you guys know uh, how they both feel and act and react and stuff. Okay, so I'm sorry if you guys can uh, start to hear the wind, but I just did, how many tricks did I do? Five tricks on my normal skateboard. I was gonna do different tricks on the cruiser. I don't know why, that doesn't make any sense. I'm, six, what? That doesn't make any sense. So I'm just gonna do the same tricks I did on my regular skateboard on the cruiser board and um, compare the difficultiness. I already forgot the tricks I did. I did ollie, pop, shove it, front pop, kick flip, and 180, I think. All right, right here on the cruiser board. Okay, as you guys can see, um, tricks on a cruiser board is a lot harder because the wheels on a cruiser board are a lot bigger, thicker, and softer, and you have these uh, riser pads, so it so it weighs the board down a lot, which makes it harder to do tricks. As you guys could tell, like all the tricks I did on my regular board were like first try. All the tricks on this board were like five tries to do each one, so that's one reason why it's harder. So, flat ground tricks on a cruiser board, possible, it's definitely possible, it's just a lot harder. Now, doing grinds on a cruiser board, that's a different story because the big, thick, soft wheels rub against whatever you're grinding on, and it causes a lot more friction than regular wheels. Um, I'm gonna try and do 50-50, 5-0 maybe. Uh, first on my regular board though. Okay, now 50-50 and hopefully 5-0 on the cruiser board. And grinding on a cruiser is a lot harder because since the wheels are thicker and a lot bigger, you have less room to grind with your trucks because you usually lock in on 50-50s and stuff like right here, but the, the wheel covers a big portion of that, that spot of the truck. So it's a lot harder to do 50-50s and 5-0s, but I'm gonna try it right here. See how sketchy that one was? Okay, that 50-50 I actually did pretty easily. Uh, the 5-0 I don't think is gonna be as easy because that's just a harder trick in general. And to do it on a cruiser board, it's gonna be a lot harder, but um, I'm gonna go for it. See guys, every time I get into a 5-0, I can feel, I can feel the wheel right there just rubbing against it and slowing me down so much. This is so much harder than the 50-50 for some reason. Oh my gosh, that was so ugly, but I'm counting that. Okay, so grinding on a cruiser board, not the easiest thing to do. I'm not, I can't do any like tail slides or no slides just because the ledge that I'm skating um, is not slidable. Like it's not waxed on top, it's only waxed right where you can do a 50-50, but um, yeah, okay, I'm gonna find somewhere to sit down and talk. Okay, so if you guys are, if you guys don't skate and you guys are thinking about getting a regular skateboard or a cruiser board to do tricks, I suggest that you guys get a regular skateboard. Um, if you guys wanna do tricks, getting a cruiser board to do tricks, it's doable, it's definitely doable, you can do it if you want to, if you're more comfortable skating a cruiser board, then go ahead. But um, in my opinion, like me personally, 
it's just a lot harder and it's a lot the skateboard is a lot heavier and you want your skateboard to be as light as possible uh for popping and flipping tricks and doing all that types of stuff so yeah a cruiser bar a cruiser board is definitely not the board to do that for one it's really heavy two the wheels are bigger and softer which helps you like roll over cracks and stuff that's why you just cruise on them that's why they're called cruiser boards you just get from point a to point b on a cruiser board and you have the riser pads all of that stuff makes the board so much heavier just doing an ollie on flat ground or like doing an ollie onto a curb or something is so difficult just because the board is so heavy so you have to work a lot hard like you have to work your legs and your feet and your body a lot harder just to do an ollie onto a curb on a cruiser board than on a regular skateboard just because it's so heavy and doing grinds and slides i don't want to say it's impossible but it's very 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 hard because like i said the wheels are bigger and thicker and softer so that's really bright so it makes it harder to do to do grinds and slides and everything like that because the wheel rubs up against whatever it is you're trying to grind and it just slows you down it stops you and it just makes the ledge or whatever you're skating feel super sticky so uh, my personal uh, personal opinion get a regular skateboard and get a cruiser board because they're a lot of fun just to get from point a to point b i'm gonna get a new cruiser board because this one that i have i had for so long and i haven't even really been skating it and i like the little tiny cruiser boards i don't like the bigger ones but anyway yeah i think that's gonna wrap up cruiser board versus regular skateboard regular skateboard in my opinion is the winner okay guys i'm sorry i haven't been vlogging a lot in this video but um i had to carry around this board my regular board my camera tripod and all that stuff and i only have two hands so i haven't been like updating the vlog as much as i usually do but um as you guys can see well you guys can't see because on this camera everything looks a lot brighter than it actually is in real life but it's getting dark i'm just very well lit by these these lights with these people playing baseball softball whatever they're playing something okay but anyway guys i am i'm gonna head back home only because it is getting dark now um i wanted to skate the ledges that they have here but they weren't skatable either they were knobbed or like chipped up or you couldn't skate them just because it was just like unskatable. Like the one ledge I showed you guys, there was just no way to skate that because you couldn't go towards it to skate it. Anyway guys, um, I'm gonna go home. Uh, I'm gonna drink a bunch of water because even though it's nighttime, it is still really, really hot. So I'll see you guys later. Look at that beautiful Las Vegas. I want a plane to fly by right here so badly because this is the airport and this is right where they land. So that would be such a cool shot if a plane just came and landed right here right now. Oh, there's one way back there about to land, too. You guys see those lights in the sky? That's the plane. Wait, look, there's a plane. It just landed. There's a plane right there. No, focus. I kind of got it. I kind of got it. I'm happy. Look, guys, I'm parking next to my, my Audi friend again. It's so nice. Okay, guys, I'm home editing my video like always every time i start editing my videos well every time i get to the end of editing a video i'm like man this video is so much longer than i wanted it to be so i'm sorry guys i'm sorry that these videos are so long but um some of you guys like the longer videos so all of you guys that like the longer videos you're welcome all of you guys that don't like the longer videos i'm sorry but anyway guys um i'm gonna end the video because it's super late i have to finish editing if you guys like the video please leave a like subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next video peace <laughs>